Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-adoptions.com Guys in this video we are mainly going to talk about how we can generate the reports in Serenity framework. So in the last lecture we have already discussed about how you can create your Serenity framework or uh, in simple words how you can set up the Serenity framework in your system how you can run your first test case using Serenity framework and this is what we have developed. This was a very basic script where we were only starting Google and we did some activity just to check everything is working fine or not. Now in order to generate the report, you need to make few changes in your pom.xml file. And if you go to pom.xml editor and just navigate till the plugin section and you can see here that we are using two plugins. One is Maven Failsafe plugin and Maven Surefire plugin. So if you come down here, you will notice there is one configuration tag there we can provide what test you want to include and what system property variable you want to use. So right now we are not talking about these variables. We'll discuss it once we move forward. As of now, in the include section, you can include how many tests you want to include when you want to run your build. Okay. So right now I have given double star. It's a wild card. So I'm telling search or scan all the packages okay we do not have any restriction that go to only test case packages or any specific name when we give double star it means it is going to scan all the folders or all the packages then inside the packages i'm again giving star that starting can be anything if the test cases or the java classes is ending with test cases dot java or test case dot java it is going to execute all the test scenarios Right now, at this moment in my project, I have only one package and I have only one class, which is my first test case dot Java. So definitely it is going to take it only one class and it will run. So in, uh, let's say if I create another class and that class, I will say verification test case or validation test case. So in that case, this particular expression will include all the scenarios because it is going to match in all the packages if any of the class is ending with testcase.java, it will include that. Second thing which we want to uh, just have a look that we have an execution tag and in the executions tag, we have one execution which has two goals. Okay, one is integration test and one is verify. So in case if we want to generate the report, okay, we want to run this particular goal. So if you go back to their official documentation, this was the starter card which we have used right so in case if we want to use that particular uh, you know reports the moment you say mvn clean clean is the standard goal which will delete the target folder and verifies the goal that is coming under execution tag so you can also run integration test it will run only integration test we are going to use verify okay so let's run that particular command and let's see how it generates the report so first of all, I need the path. So I'm going to get the location where my uh, all the framework is located. So right now the framework is under desktop and this is the folder. Now I'm going to go back to terminal. So let's open the terminal and let me increase the font size and uh, just let me type First of all, CD and this is the space. Okay. Now I will say MVN clean and verify. And guys, if you don't have Maven installed, okay, then this command will not work. So make sure you install Maven in your system. I'm using Mac, so I have uh, configured Maven in my Mac. But in case you're working with Windows, you can download the zip file and you can set up the path. So it is going to trigger the test and once the test is done, it is going to generate the report for us. So this is already we have discussed. So it will take one instance of browser. It will run the test and uh, it will close the browser. So this is just a basic test. So it is going to do some activity on Google, close it. And let me just check the report. So if you see the terminal test passed and uh, 
by default all the reports will be going to a specific directory so let me open that directory and i will show you the report part yeah build a success now go back to eclipse and uh, just refresh so just right click refresh and uh, you will see the target folder inside target folder you will also find a separate folder called site and if you open the serenity folder you will find one index.html file this is the main report so the moment you open this in a web browser you will find this serenity report let me show you this in a browser okay so as of now it is not showing any screenshot because we have not taken any screenshot but in case if you have any screenshot screenshot will be added in your report as well so as of now you can see this is the summary part and this is the test result right now we have only one test so it is showing only one in case if you have multiple tests all will be listed here and right now this requirement tab will not make much sense once you move to BDD you will see the requirement tab will have more details so this is just a basic report for the first test that that we have executed once I will have multiple tests with the screenshots you will see this report will have more features okay so for report you don't have to do anything you just need to run your test with uh, maven command and reports will be generated for you okay so that's all about this video in the next video we'll see features of page object class which exist in serenity framework so how you can utilize that class what are the different features page object class will provide which comes by default with serenity and how you can use that page object class with page object model so that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.